All right, guys, today we are going to be showing you how to install an outdoor receptacle or an indoor receptacle on an outdoor building, a metal building here that we're working right, we're in. We're wiring up, coming from our panel box. We got this Armalite. You have to have this in metal buildings. So you can get these push through that goes with this. It's got three prongs and snaps right into your box over there or into here, okay? So what you do is you buy a special tool like this, it's about 50 bucks, but these are clients, these are real good. What they do, you put it in here and it <coughs> cuts in to this right in here. That's all there's to it. That's it? This part right here holds this stuff in place the second side, see it coming down? There's a a little cutting wheel. And you wrote this like this, you rotate it. And what it does, it cuts it. And once it cuts it, you just pull it off just like that. Wow. And it cuts one side out. If not, you would have to paint your cutters and cut this and this stuff is super strong. I can't even cut it with these nice. Then you'd have to peel it back like this. Then you'd have to cut this off. Now you can do it, but it's just a lot of work. And then this is all cockeyed. This gets it real nice. And then what you do, you take your fitting. It's got the three prongs in there. You just take that thing in there, put it right on in. You got this paper that's real heavy duty plastic. What you do, you just cut that plastic off right there by the edge. You put these in there, just like that. You hear it click? Now once that's in there, you ain't gonna pull it out, okay? So now that's done. So what you wanna do is take one of your boxes. So you just figure out, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go from the top in. You take a knockout, knock one of these out. These are all pop-outs, the same size, and there's different sizes in there if you're doing different applications. But right now, we're working with this side. So what we're gonna do is you put these in there for this. So right now, I popped it out, just like that. I'm gonna pop it in to this box. And these are hard to get in, but once they clip, they're in. They're not going to get out. Then you can take some self-tapping screws like this, get you a, a good... These came from this job when they had some left over and I bought them from them. But you can get these in any hardware store. Then you just can go ahead and you can pre-drill or them up like that okay here's one that's not drilled out because I did this it don't take too long to screw in there it's a little forceful but right there on that corner it's got a cut but once that box is in place I mean it's in place then you can buy a nice pair of cutters. These are about 20 bucks, 15 bucks, but they're well worth the money. Now, what you do, you got your neutral, you got your hot, you got your green. Now this cable is real thick in that armor flex, so it's kind of hard to cut. So you gotta, gotta have a good pair of cutters to cut this out. Now, get it about a half an inch to an inch. Don't, you always can cut more off. Here's your ground. I'm just gonna put a regular plate on here. Okay, there's two types of plates. You got your ground. You notice these are silver. When they're silver, 
That is the neutral side, which neutral is white. These are gold. See how the small end and big end, and then you got a ground. The ground's down here. Now this is only for entertainment purposes. We're not teaching you how to be an electrician, but listen very carefully, you'll learn a lot. Now, this goal is for the small side, which is your hot side, this is the neutral side. Now this, if somebody was just looking at it, you don't even have to look at it, but you can tell that this is only 15 amps. Now let me tell you, a 20 amp is you got a little T in there. See that T? That's how you, you got it upside down though. That's how you determine a 15 amp versus a 20 amp. 20. Drills, uh, different kind of uh, equipment is going to use more amperage. And one thing I like about these, you got your little bar back here. There's a little, see how you just take this right there? You're in. Okay? So what do we do? Get some cutters. Remember I told you I, I boogered that up? You just cut that off. And I want a nice, smooth. That one you're gonna have to wrap. So you put this on here just like this. Go behind here. You tighten. Okay? I was gonna have another. Now, I tell you about the screwdriver. You can get a drill. I get this from Home Depot, but you put your settings at a low setting. See how it holds it? At different settings, the torque. You want to put it on low so it runs real slow. So when you do it, it's done. Now, to do the back side, bring it around. I thought you said you're doing a 15 amp on this one. This is 20 amp. You don't want to use 15 only for houses. Because I got a lot of equipment in this. Now this is tight. All right, now you got your bottom one, your last one. So this one. is a 20 amp. It doesn't this right matter here. the gauge of the wire. It's all the same. No. The gauges of wire, these are 12. In a house, you can go with number 14. But it will not go with a 20 amp breaker. Too much amperage, melt the wire. Take your little Nino nose, you see that little hook? You wanna put that little hook in there because you're gonna hook right here behind that green ground. Now, you see how it wraps it? It continues to spin as you're tightening it up. Clockwise. No, it could be backwards, but right now we're spinning this way, which is clockwise. You see how that tightens it up? It continues to tighten it. So once that's done, you put it in a box and you're ready to go. You put a plate on it, like so, screw it in your thing and you're done. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a single plug here. But later on, I can come back in future, change this out and have a double. Okay, so you put this on. A lot of times you have to take these little, let me just teach you something real quick. These wings are for sheetrock. But a lot of times you can, they, they're, they're already pre-cut. Usually you just crimp them and it pops off just like that. But if this video is helpful, learning basic electricity, learning how to operate it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Just hit right down there. Okay, thank you. Prescribe or subscribe? Prescribe or the prescribe, whatever. Just hit like, sign up, SUB baby. Prescribe, prescription. Prescribe, I SUB baby. <laughs> Is that how you spell it? Yeah, <laughs> subscribe, P-U-S-R-B-E. <laughs> hey, see how this won't fit? Kids got them wings. Gotta cut them wings off. You gotta cut the wings off or bend these wings. Now these used to come off so easy. I don't know, they made it harder for they made it harder for a little man. I'm just gonna bend them in. This, this cover won't fit.
see how it fits now. When you're a tree man, they know that you look at the weather. Okay, once you do that, you got this screw, this screw. You take it apart like so. I'll show you something, guys. They got all kind of different boxes that you can get. But I'm getting this type of box. Easy to work with, less screws. And you got some that got four box screws. But you're not really putting a lot of stress on this when you pull out. Pull a plug in and pull a plug out. Hey, tell my assistant to get me something. And I, did you hear that, guys? Did you hear this? Listen. You hear that cake? Well, that's got to set so you don't screw this, okay? Don't strip it out. Yep, now we're all ready. You good to go. Let's plug yeah, something in. We're going to plug something in real quick and show you that it's working. Easy enough. Easy enough. Anybody can do this. He just turned he just turned the breaker on. You always want to be working with that wire off. Tell them that because they're somebody's going to be like, "Oh, we'll just wire it up." <laughs> no. Uh, Check both sides, make sure your reciprocal is not broke. We're done. Now, that wire goes all the way here. You gotta, you gotta strap it every 18 inches, okay? And you say, well, how do you strap it? We're gonna show you one strap. We'll do that later.